from one Blue Jays way in Toronto. Welcome to Rogers Center. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Boston Red Sox and the Toronto Blue Jays. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shumby. Singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Just about set to go now, and on the hill, Jose Barrios. Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep into games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. All right, ready to get underway. Trevor. Stepping in, the slugging shortstop, Trevor Story. The line to kick the pitch. That's the third, and that's just foul. First pitch, 707. The pitch. Ball one there. Ball Next two. offering misses. Two balls and a strike. Count is two and one. Bounced out to short. Fires over to Guerrero. One up, one down. Not now it's J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez. Talking about Martinez, he's one of the best fastball hitters in the game. Yeah, some guys are concerned about velocity, but he embraces it. The next offering misses. And now it's even one and one. No score just getting started top of the first. Next pitch downstairs and a count two and one. That one in for a strike two and two. The next pitch misses and that's ball three. One down, base is empty. And he walked him. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that ball. Xander Bogarts takes a ball here as he stands in now. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three, double play. And the inning is over. And now the Blue Jays will get their initial shot. No score. Bottom of the first, digging in, number 25. Leading up for Toronto, the shortstop, number 25. And here it comes. Swing and a bouncer. Story sends it over to first. There to beat him by an eyelash. Rymel Tapia up to hit. Tapia. Right side, there's Hernandez handling the chance. In plenty of time to first, two up, two down. Next for Toronto, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. Swings through that one, 0 oh and 1. For this guy, it's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind, seeing that pitch out of the hand and hit it hard somewhere. Now fly ball to right center. Pinder makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. We played an inning. No score. 
back here at the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. And now it's going to be Rafael Devers. The third baseman. First pitch, and he has to get out of the way. Next offering is foul back. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Good eye right there. Foul ball. And the pitch. Stays alive. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. And that's outside. And there's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. So here's Christian Vasquez. Barrios a check to first. Devers back easily. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Rips that one to right. And there's one down. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. The first baseman. Bobby Dahlbeck. And a foul ball. No score here in the second. Hot shot to third. To second, and he threw it away. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Here's Kike Hernandez. The second baseman. Number five. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Kirk brings it in. Out number two. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Chad Pinder in the box now takes a cold strike. Next one off the plate inside. And the count even one and one. Right hander kicks deals. That misses. And it's two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. That one fouled off, two and two. And a pitch. Out to short. They get the force, and that'll do it. Boston strands a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. Here's George Springer. Leading up for Toronto, the center fielder, Joel. The wind of the pitch. Springer. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And first offering is fouled off. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Line drive, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feel. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Moved to second, and they got him. Great job by the defense executing that daylight play perfectly. It's such a timing thing, and that middle infielder and the pitcher have to be on the same page, and it's got to be a good throw. Nice job right there. Throw to first. Hernandez back on a dive.
Back over to first. Second inning here, no score. Back to first. And once again, he's back in safely. Another check to first. And he's safe again. Uncle. And the 0 1. Lifted in the air, right center field. Pinder racing over to make the catch. Everyday during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They the practice baseman. this, and when the game Matt. comes, they make the play Chapman. perfect. Matt Chapman stands in with two away as he takes the ball right there. Hernandez, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering is foul back. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Out to short. They take the force out. Out number three. The Blue Jays held in check. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at Rogers Center, top half of the third inning. And here's the veteran outfielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. There's a strike. Jackie Bradley Jr., there's some swing and miss, but he's got some pop as well. The best example of a streaky hitter. When he gets hot, team can jump on his back because he will carry him for a while. Bradley waits. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Story takes low, second trip to the plate in this one. Next pitch is outside. Runner at first with no outs here. That one fouled off. Fouls one off. Two and two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. Kicks and fires. That one missed. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. him looking down on strikes and he knew it no well, interesting he's looking very comfortable out of the stretch the after giving up the leadoff team. single back to back strikeout so they haven't been able to move that runner up get him into scoring position and try to have a better chance of scoring I tell you good job so far on the mound he just needs one more out here's a high chopper fires over to Guerrero and that is that and the Red Sox leave one, and we're still knotted at zero. Set for the bottom of the third, here's the second baseman, Leonardo Jimenez. And a pitch. Leonardo And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Next offering is in for a strike. And he hits a ground ball right side. 
Whips it to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. That'll touch down off the base of the fence. Fires the second too late. And he's got a double. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Number 25 next up for the Blue Jays. Swing and a line drive caught. Now, now here is Rymel Tapia. Grounded out his first job. Soft contact in the air. That gets down for a hit. Runner around third. He will score, and it's 1 0. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a blue hit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder, so he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Laddie in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Story. The throw to first, and the inning is over. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. Out of the fourth, now the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Leading off for the Red Sox. The, the right-hander back to work. Rafael Devers. And a ground ball to first. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Yeah, it looked pretty routine. And that's one of the things no, I remember no. talking yeah. with one of the routine. best in the business in terms of working with infielders, Ron Washington, who is actually with the Atlanta Braves, but he's you know, the skipper of the Rangers and infield coach with the Oakland A's. But he talked about the shift. And although it may be balls hit right at guys, the footwork and positioning once they get the ball can still be a real challenge. And now Bobby Dahlbeck. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Smash to the left side, and foul ball. No outs, runners at first and third. Next pitch inside, two and one. Next one misses. Three and one now. And the three one. In the air, right field. Hernandez moving back for this one. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And that should get the job done as he tags from third. He's in on the sack fly. It's one one. So many times that one gets out of here and into the seats, but he'll take the sack fly RBI. Good job to get that run in from third. Hernandez in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Vasquez, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next offering misses, 3-0. and oh. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Pinder in the box now. Takes strike one. The next offering misses, and the count is one and one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Next pitch off the play. Ball two. That misses. And now three and one. And the righty deals. And they're all loaded up. So digging in, Jackie Bradley Jr. And he's already singled in this game. And that one fouled off. Base is loaded. One away. And this one squirts away from the catcher. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one off the plate inside. And that's ball two. 
Next pitch just misses. Full count now. 3 2. And fouled off. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Can't get there. Base hit. And it gets by him. One runs in. In there safely. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Nope. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Story lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Next offering is in for a strike. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And it's off the wall. Backhand reach, but it gets by him. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. Just now a very back. nice Left fielder, J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez stands in. Ripped on a line. He's got it. Runner tags for home. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. It's 6-1. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Fires over to Guerrero. Inning over. Although plenty of damage done. They bring nine to the plate and six come around to score. Welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, George Springer. The center fielder. Hill back to work. Springer. Into center. Pinder should have this one. And puts the squeeze on that. One away. He was all over that first pitch fastball. He just barely now missed it. Right Man, this guy was ready to hit. So up next, Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. In the air to left center. Pinder going back on this one. Puts it away for the out. And next is the designated hitter, Danny Jansen. He's 0 for 1. Jansen. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. That smash towards center. Pinder makes the catch, and that'll do it. 1, 2, 3, go the Blue Jays. The lead remains 5. And welcome back. Leading off for the Red Sox. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Ross Stripling. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. The next pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. Left hand batter waits. And Devers hits that one. Snags it on the run. And there's one down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Vasquez, batting with one down, takes a strike. to the left side but it is well foul. Oh and two now. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Springer there makes the catch. That's out number two. Two outs. Base now is empty. The now at the plate Bobby Dahlbeck. Bobby Dahlbeck. First pitch doesn't find the zone. On the ground to the left. Zips it to first. 
And that'll do it. Red Sox go down 1-2-3. They lead it, though, 6-1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here is Lead Matt Chapman. For Toronto, the third baseman, Matt. The big lefty Chapman. turns, kicks, deals. Out there to center. Pinder makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, yeah, no man. doubt. The Leonardo base. Jimenez Leonardo. next up for the Blue Jays. Jimenez. This one popped up. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Up next for the And here team. is Alejandro Kirk. Kirk. Doubled his Alejandro. first time up. In the first pitch, misses for ball one. Red Sox up 6 1. Into left center for a base hit. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. And that one is lifted in the air. What a play in right field. And that is that. One left for Toronto. They trail it 6-1. Back now in Toronto. Now it's the second baseman, Enrique Hernandez. The Red Sox. Stripling the back to work. Number five. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's going back. Back some more. Bangs off the wall. And that's a leadoff double. So, a man aboard, Chad Pinder now. And that's in there for strike one. Right side, Hernandez in position, makes the grab one away. Now it's the right fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. In there for strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. 0-2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. The pitch. On a line, base hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Here's Trevor Story. Trevor Story. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next one is off the plate, and it's a ball and a strike. Two on, one out. Falling behind two and one. Next pitch is outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Well, interesting, he went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Springer on the move. And he makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. It's a sack fly as he comes across to score. It's 7-1. So first and second with two outs. Xander Bogarts up next for the Red Sox. And there's a foul ball. Kicks and deals. And ball one. Rip to third. Boots it. Devers now. First offering misses the mark. Two outs, bases are full. 
Next pitch misses. 2 and 0. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in a run. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Check swing of the 3 0. Appeal to third. And he went around. That's ruled a swing. And a 3 1 on the way. So Devers will take his base. Two outs, base is loaded. And here's the catcher, Christian. Catcher, Christian. That's good. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Story at third. Bogarts over at second. Devers at first. Two out of the inning. They get the force. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of here. Back here at Rogers Center. Now the left fielder, Rymel Tapia. For Toronto, the left fielder. The wind of the pitch. Tapia. And a foul ball. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. The wind of the pitch. Hernandez tosses the first, and a quick out number one. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score, and... And that gets down into the gap. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a two-bagger. Next to hit, George Springer. One home run shy of 200 for his career. In the air out to center, Pinder under it. Puts the squeeze on it. Runner tagging for third. Now to second, gets back as he almost ran into another out there. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez. In the air, center field. Pinder settles underneath it. Makes the catch in and goal. Blue Jays held it. Back here at the ballpark. And here's the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. Leading off for the Red Sox. The first Pitch baseman. misses inside, Bobby and it's 1-0. and oh. Dahlbeck. Fly ball down the line. Hernandez gliding back. Puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Now batting. Number five. A new arm into the game, the righty, Julian Merriweather. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Merriweather. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Next pitch inside. One ball, one strike. Next one just misses. And the count's even at two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two gone. Two outs, base is empty. The Here's center the center fielder, well. Chad Pinder. Chad Pinder. Aye. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Out to center, Jimenez. Sizing this one up and makes the grab. And that is that. Red Sox go down quietly, and it remains an 8-1 to one game. Set for the last half of the seventh, and now the DH, Danny Jansen. The designated pitch. Danny Jansen. And first offering is fouled off. Ripped, but it curls foul.
Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. And at first, Leading now up, here is Toronto. Matt Chapman. Here's a guy who's been struggling Matt. so far this year. It's Chapman. only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. To second, that's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Leonardo Jimenez next up for the Blue Jays. And first offering is fouled off. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. You won. That one misses, and that is ball one. Chapman stands at first with one out. Next offering is in for a strike. That curveball has been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. So up next for Toronto, Alejandro Kirk. And first offering is fouled off. One out, runners at first and second. Swing and a base hit. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. Back-to-back -back base hits. Nice line drive to full side, bent it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. So the batting order turns over. Number 25 next up for the Blue Jays. In the air, out towards right center. Base hit, one run in already. Another comes in to score, and it's 8-3. So one out with two aboard. And now for the Jays, Rymel Tapia. Now one for three. No left fielder. Rymel. Swing, and that's ripped Tapia. towards right center. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. In comes the run from third. And it's 8-4. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. New pitcher for the Red Sox, Ryan Brazier, trying to protect this lead. Vladdy, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. In the air, right field. And that will fall. Throw, and it gets away. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Center field. Pinder settles under this one. Squeezes it. Both runners tagging. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across. It's eight to five. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this is a high leverage situation. And if you can limit the other team, you're doing pretty good work. See if he can get this next out. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. And Vasquez able to pull it down. Nine men come to the plate for score. Eighth inning coming up. Red Sox. Welcome back. Leading off, Jackie Bradley Jr. Leading off. Here comes the a pitch. Sox. The right fielder, number 19. Way high. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Oh. Next offering misses, and the no count break. is 2 0. Oh. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports. Basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. 
in there, and it's 0-1. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Next pitch is popped up. Jimenez has this one sized up. And yeah, there's one away. Well, that's a frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was now right that. down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. And he deals. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? But a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. How is that fastball out of here? One out, base is empty. And yeah, here man. comes Sander Bogarts. <laughs> and the first pitch misses for ball one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Makes the grab. And yeah, there's two away. Now it's Devers now at the plate. The third baseman, Rafael Devers. First pitch, not close. Bounce to the left side. Zips it across, and Devers is set down. Third out, but two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's down to five. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Jake Diekman. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. Leading off Pitch. for the Jays. The designated and first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty, not close with that one, but he gets him to go after it. The pitch. The punch out there, and one out now. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes... As a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Over to Dahlbeck, and a couple of quick outs. Leonardo Jimenez, next up for the Blue Jays. That's out to center field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. Down in order go the Blue Jays. Leading out of the bullpen right. for the Jays, Jimmy Garcia. And he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. Well, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Garcia. Next offering upstairs. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. The first, and Vasquez is gone. So digging in, Bobby Dahlbeck. Bobby Dahlbeck. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. Next offering is foul back. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two gone now. Well, we see it a lot more these days than we ever did when I played, but a slider in the 90s now still back. catches your attention. Even if you're sitting on the pitch, good luck recognizing that tight spin and adjusting to the late break. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Not a swing you want to watch again. Next pitch misses inside. Now one and two. The one-two. 
just off the outside part of the plate. Bud put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. And that one hammered. That's back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Kike Hernandez takes him deep. His fourth home run of the season. And they add to their lead. It's 11-5. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And now, Chad Pinder. The center field. And that's in there for strike one. Chad Pinder. Next pitch misses. One and one. Ball to strike. Just missed. That Just missed. And the right handers 3 1. In the air, left field. And that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. On now to the bottom of inning number nine. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Garrett Whitlock comes on now. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Bottom nine, here's the Toronto catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Next pitch misses inside. And now it's even one and one. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Next pitch in the dirt. It's two and two. Oh, that one's behind him. And that's ball four. Phil, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough of bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. And first offering is fouled off. Kirk on at first. Nobody out. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And one gone. Rymel Tapia, now the next to hit. Left fielder, Rymel Tapia. In there for strike one. Here's the 0 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 0 2. Stays alive. Next one is off the play. Going to count one and two. At the belt and fires. On the ground the first. Over to Story for one. The double play ends it right here. Well, Boot, four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. 11-5, your final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.